ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Tech Showdown. My name is Kevin, this is my co-host Teddy, and today we're talking about the RTX 2060. So this is from Tom's Hardware. They have an article saying, leaked benchmarks of the RTX 2060 in Final Fantasy 15 run at 4K. So let's start out with the name then, RTX. So a lot of us thought that when NVIDIA rebranded their high-end cars to RTX, that was to differentiate them from, I guess, the mid-tier, lower-tier cards. This is the same way that, well, Intel's done this, and now AMD with Ryzen's done this. Intel's done this for ages of, you know, the i3, i5, i7, and now i9s as well. Most of you guys watching me will be enthusiasts, but a lot of people out there just... I don't care that much about computer tech and that sort of thing and and they just will look at the i3 i5 i7 and they sort of know how powerful the CPU will be from that and my thought was that Nvidia was doing sort of the same thing with the GPUs obviously as the numbers go up you could expect them to be more powerful but to sort of um, break them into two sort of groups of the RTX would be just the enthusiast level cards and then GTX was sort of for everybody else. So if they end up going with RTX uh, for the name on the entire lineup, that will be an interesting move and it really shows they've gone <laughs> full on with this sort of branding change around ray tracing and all the rest of it. So that would be interesting. Anyways, back to the GPU itself. So it's looking like it'll come with the TU116 12 nanometer chip. And performance wise, from the benchmarks, it's looking like it'll be 30% faster than the GTX 1060. That is pretty much where we would hope it would be. I mean, a 30% jump up, that would be good. Yeah, that'd be solid. Uh, of course, we have to take these with a grain of salt for sure. And there's some people have been saying this might be a mobile chip, you know, possibly. But, uh, yeah, a 30% jump up, that would be good. Yeah, really good. I think a lot of people that currently run a GTX 1060, and there's a lot of you guys out there, this would be a 30% jump up. That's noticeable, definitely, definitely noticeable. Uh, so that would be a really good sort of jump for many people out there. It reminds me way back when I started the channel, uh, the people that were coming from the 7970, moving up to... Uh, like the uh, 290 or the 290X, that was like a good 30 to 40% jump up there. And so a lot of you guys did that back then. And I think this would be a similar thing with GTX 1060 owners. If it's a 30% jump up, that would be quite good. Now it does come up a bit shy on the uh, 1070. I, yeah, I don't think many people that are currently running 1070s would likely upgrade to the 2060 so it's looking like it will probably with maybe driver optimization and stuff i mean the 1070 pascal has been out forever maybe it would end up being equal to the the 1070 or, or something like that um but of course on the md front it, it would just blow the 590 out of the water that's for sure you'd be looking i'd imagine at sort of a 20 to 25 percent jump over the 590 uh so AMD will be in a little bit trouble and a little bit of trouble in their mid-range there if the 2060 is 30 percent faster than the 1060. The other thing to consider not only we don't know about the memory yet some people have floated the idea of GDDR6 with it um, possibly but unlikely I would say uh, it's it's gonna this more ties into my next point of price don't expect the 2060 price to be similar to the 1060s at launch. That's for sure. You've seen Nvidia raise the pricing on all the models. Everything's gone up and the 2060 will be the same. It'll be more expensive than what the 1060 launched at. But maybe to help justify that, they may run that sort of memory. Um, but it's hard to say. They might do. It'll just depend on how much they lift up the pricing over the 1060s launch price for the 2060, but it's definitely gonna be more expensive. Then again, in this particular case, maybe they, if it's just, depending on how much more expensive they make, I mean, it's obviously gotta be less than the 2070, but 
uh, which which is quite high, <laughs> let's be honest. Um, so that's a lot of room there. But in saying that, a 30% gain, if this is to be believed, and of course these are just leaked benchmarks, so we got to take it all with a grain of salt. But if this is to be believed, then maybe it could be more justifiable of that price increase. The, the bitter pill to swallow for many of us with the RTX launch was the fact that the GPUs were very expensive, but they didn't give us this sort of performance uplift, I guess, many were looking at. And I guess the same thing could be argued here with if the RT, uh, RTX 2060 ends up being more expensive than what a 1070 is at now, then many people will probably just buy up 1070s. This is what we saw with RTX 2080 and 1080 Ti are practically the same performance for most games anyway. And, but, but the fact is that the 1080 Ti is cheaper. So a lot of people just went and bought the 1080 Ti over the 2080. And I think this may be the case here as well. If the 2060 is just say matched with the 1070 in terms of performance, and yet it comes in at a higher price, then everyone's just going to buy 1070s. That may be the case here as well. I'm, I'm not 100% sure. This is just my opinion, just speculating. But uh, I'd like to know what you guys think. So in the comment section down below, what performance do you think the 2060 will have? Like, what do you think it'll be compar comparable to? And not only that, but what price do you think it'll come in at? Because that's going to be a big factor too. So which, what sort of performance do you think it will have and what sort of price do you think it will have? I'd really like to know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Now I thank you guys for watching this video. Please subscribe to Tech Showdown if you haven't already and leave me a like. And as always, I'll see you guys next time.